Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. In this series, we're taking a look at the HTC HT7 running Windows Phone 7. This episode, we're going to talk about some of the applications on the phone that make use of the Windows Live ID. Now, one of the nice things about having a Windows phone is that it allows you to automatically set up a lot of the things that you'll use with other Microsoft services. So just as Android phones use Google services like Gmail and that sort of thing, and automatically set them up when you enter your Google information, when you automatically enter your Windows Live information onto this during initial setup, it'll set up those things like Hotmail, uh, the Marketplace, it'll set up your Xbox Live ID, all of those things that are associated with your Microsoft Windows Live ID. Now, if you set up your Windows Live ID during initial setup, you should be good to go and the app should be ready to use. But if you haven't, you'll have to do a little bit of setup first. From the home screen, tap on the arrow in the top right-hand corner and then go down to Settings. Under the option for Email and Accounts, choose on the option that says Windows Live ID. Enter in your username and password for the Windows Live ID account that you have, and then click Done. Once you click Done and it authenticates your information, it'll start to automatically pull in all the information from your Windows Live account. So it'll pull in your contacts from your Messenger account and start to put them into your contacts list. It'll pull in all of your Hotmail uh, email messages that are waiting for you and get those ready to go for you to use right on the phone. And it'll allow you to make purchases using things like the Xbox Live or the Marketplace that's sitting here on the phone. Now there's a few ways you can use the information that you've synced to the phone using your Windows Live ID. One way you can do that is by going onto the home screen and then clicking on People. A list of your contacts from your Windows Live ID will appear here. So you'll see a list that says all and it'll show you all the contacts that you have there. A lot of these will appear as phone numbers, a lot of these will appear as email addresses. You can click on the search icon to search for a specific contact or phone number if you want. Or if you want to add a new phone number or contact, you can click on the plus sign and then start to enter the information here. All this information will be accessible then from your phone book when you're in the phone application. You notice hiding over to the right-hand side of your All Contacts list, you'll see a list of recent activities. So swipe your finger over to get to that, and you'll see recent activity updates from people on your contacts list. Now, of course, you can also access the email that you have on your Microsoft-based email platform like Hotmail or Windows Live Mail. Click on the Windows Start button to go back to your home screen, and then scroll down until you get to the item for your particular mail service. In this case, we have Hotmail. So we'll tap on it, and it'll open up a list of all the messages that we have from our Hotmail service. We I mean, just tap on one of the messages here to open it, or we can actually tap on one of the icons running along the bottom of the screen to start a new message or do some other work within our Hotmail mailbox. Now, if we tap on the Windows Home button again, we can actually go down to Xbox Live. Now, this is the service, of course, that you can use on your Xbox to download items and interact with your friends, and it works the same way here on the phone. So you can tap on this to open up Xbox Live, and if you already set up an Xbox Live account on your Xbox, it should download your avatar that you've used there. If you haven't, you can set one up here as long as you download and install the Xbox Live Extras application right here on the phone. Then, just like Xbox Live on the Xbox itself, you can scroll through this list, download applications, and start interacting with your friends on the Xbox Live service. Let's look at some of the uses of Windows Live ID on the HD7 from HTC using Windows Phone 7. Don't forget to check out the other parts in the series where we show you other ways of interacting with Windows Phone 7. You can check out the show notes for this and the other parts in the series at butterscotch.com.